Hello community! Today is the solution of my extreme test for all the things that we looked at. Now, you know, I performed a simple extreme logic test to test here the new OpenAI 01. And the task was simple. I left some clues. I have here artifacts, field of magic and familiars and some very simple instruction. And this is all there is. And you found the prompt in my last video in the description of the video. Now, you remember the final answer by JetGPT 01 preview was this. And now I had the time to have a look at this. And because I saw that some of the comments said, hey, neither are correct. And some other wrote me here, none of them are correct. So I was a little bit preoccupied and said, hey, okay, I have to check myself because I don't think that those people want to, I don't know, lie to you. But maybe they need a little bit of help if they least those comments for the community. So here you see now I checked here and everything is green, beautiful. So the answer by 01 preview was correct. There is only a certain probability that you can exchange those two because this is not really defined here. And so if you want a single degree of freedom is you can exchange these two fields. Both of them, both configurations are correct. Beautiful. You remember I designed this test here to check if we can find here a configuration of 4 Omni that comes close here to this beautiful new OpenAI 01 if we have a kind of cascading prompt. So the test was designed to be able exactly to be solved holistically by 01 or piece by piece by 4 Omni. Now let's look at the result. You know 401 we do have now a correct solution. Beautiful. And now let's have a look at 4 Omni. Is it possible? And you remember in step 4 in my last video, this was here what GPT-4 Omni could do. And you see to be decided. There were fields at the step 4 it was not able to identify. And this is kind of beautiful. Because if I now do this and I just add two more prompts, I can show you, I come up now with 4 Omni with the solution that O1 came up with. So, GPT-4 Omni plus 2 Intelligence Prompt has now the same, if you want, causal reasoning capacity like O1, at least in my test. And of course, my test was specifically designed to be able to perform this test. Great. So let's go here to my account at GPT-4 Omni and I just put in here my extreme test. This is a new prompt. There's nothing left. So as you see, this is simple here, my test. And then 4 Omni starts here. Step 1, Argus, Step 2, Step 3. And here this is, as I showed you, Step 4. And you know, if you compare this now to Sonnet, who already filled out completely this, here, for Omni says, hey, to be decided, I do know about this particular field and I like this approach if an LLM tells me, hey, I'm not sure about this. What I would like to see, if this field here in the background is a little bit green or if this field is a little bit more red, indicating the uncertainty level. Is there a threshold at 70% when the field finally becomes green? I think this would help me a lot of. So I will try here, maybe in my next video, to have here a color encoded about here the degree of certainty of our AI system about the result. This would help me understand here the performance of this AI. And then here at the end, the first answer says, this analysis framework needs continued refinement. And you're not going to believe it. My first cascading prompt was simply to say, continue with further refinement. So exactly what it gave me here. And then it goes on. We have now step five, goes all the clues, beautiful. Step six, step seven. And then we got now this table. And you see, we have still to be decided. The complexity is still there. And I said, no problem. I said, hey, continue to solve this logic test. So you ask me, hey, what secret prompt is this? I'm a simple person. I just say, continue, continue to solve this test. And here you see the result. Recap of known information. Beautiful. Step nine. So it continues now. Narrowing down the assignment. Yes, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. And here we have now the final solution. After two additional prompts from my side, 
And I showed you, if you compare this now to the correct solution by OpenAI O1, with the exception that these two fields are not determined exactly, so there's yet this very little degree of freedom that you can exchange those two fields, this is the correct solution. Step 11 was explanation of the logic, just makes a check and says this solution satisfies all clues logically. And then I said, okay, great, but now if you exchange here exactly what I just showed you here, this little degree of freedom, and here this Omni says, okay, let's investigate this. Beautiful. If you want to see, we can swap here exactly this little freedom. Impact of the swap analyzes this, has its argumentation, has 15 steps, goes further on. Conclusion, yes, a solution where the swap is done is a valid solution to our logical test. Both configurations satisfy all given clues without contradiction. So it understands there is another solution. Beautiful. And now I tried something that is out of scope here of this video and I said, hey, are there any other alternation of the element that would also generate a correct solution? And I give him a, a hint how to do this and say, start from your correct solution and then exchange piece by piece of your matrix to investigate the effects. So you see, you can go on and then analyze further, but I just wanted to show you with two additional, more or less, just continue your task prompts, ChatGPT for Omni on my personal extreme logic test was able to come up with the correct solution that is almost identical, depending on one little degree of freedom, with the solution by OpenAI O1. Now you say, hey, what about Grok2? What about Sonnet? What about Gemini? What about Llama 3.1, the 405 billion version? How good are they in this test? What is their performance? So let's have a look at Sonnet. You remember in my last video, I took a screenshot live from a recording. Here you have here now the performance of Sonnet. And you say, great, now that we have here the correct solution by 4Omni or by O1 Preview, this is it. You know, we have this permutation freedom of those two fields. All those are the correct answer. Now, I just wanted to make it easy. You're not going to believe it. This is the final performance here by Claude 3.5 Sonnet on my extreme logic test. And some user asks, hey, what does it mean, a red box? A red box means that the result is incorrect. Now, People were interested here in Grok2. How good is it? Now, you know that Grok2 failed here to give us here a table. No problem. We have here a list. And I took the time. I wrote here down. So you see, this is here all the red boxes that were incorrect with Grok2. Okay. Next one was Llama 3.1, the 405B instruction model. And as I told you, yeah, I tried several times to find here a solution, but at least for my personal extreme logic test, I can tell you there are some real critical incompatibilities. No, LAM is not able to solve this extreme logic test. And then let's come to Gemini 1.5 Pro here, the experimental version. And if I checked manually now, how good is here the result of Gemini? It was surprisingly good. Look, if it would have exchanged these two fields and it would have exchanged these two fields, it would have come up with the correct solution in step number four within one prompt. And this is really amazing. So from all the models that we tested, apart from O1 Preview and for Omni, I have to say Gemini 1.5 Pro really surprised me Real nice performance. And I think if I go in here with an additional prompt and I have here a targeted question to ask the system, hey, could you validate exactly these two fields or maybe these two fields? I'm quite confident the Gemini 1.5 Pro will come up with the correct solution. So there you have it. If you know, I ask, hey, is it possible here for this extreme logic test of mine to have before Omni? To come to the performance in causal reasoning for O1 preview, the simple answer of this video is yes. It would be great to see you in my next video.